the Beach Bum Bookworm. I'm so glad you found me today. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance books, and today we're continuing my Spotlighting Cozy series. We've been talking about animal cozies, and today we're going to cover animal cozies whose author's last name start with G and H, I believe. I'm having so much fun with this spotlight because I have read a lot of animal cozies. I read a lot of cozies that have animals in them, but not necessarily focus on animal cozies, which is what this spotlight is about. So I'm having so much fun with it, and my TBR is blowing up. Let me know which of these that you've read, which of these that you think I should move up in my TBR, anything else that you want to talk about, down there is a place to do it. On your way down to comment, don't forget to stop and hit the subscription and the notification bell because that's going to tell you when I put out new videos each and every single week. All right, so let's get right into this list in three, two, one, go. Just a few announcements. <laughs> okay, so I had been thinking that I wanted to do a whole video on cozy mystery bloggers because there are some really good cozy mystery bloggers, like really good that I'm that I follow and I really really enjoy. And I was gonna do a video and kind of kind of do shout out in the in the video to to different ones. And before I made the video, I wanted to make sure I got everyone's permission. And that is just taking, um, I'm just not patient enough to wait for everybody. So what I thought I would do is do a shout out at the beginning of every video for the ones that have gotten back to me. And as people get back to me, I'll shout out their book blogs. So these are cozy mystery book blogs. The first one, oh my gosh, this lady is legendary for a cozy mystery blog, I, I feel. I just love, love, love her. It's Lisa K's bookthoughts.blogspot.com. It's going to be right down in the description with a link so you can go right to it. At the top of her page in like the right hand corner somewhere in towards the top, she has a spot for you to sign up for her emails. I really, really recommend if you're a cozy mystery lover that you do. Her site it just covers everything. She does cozy food Fridays, author spotlights, book reviews, and her book reviews are on there, but they're also on Goodreads. I can't recommend them enough. I think it's because her and I have a lot of the same reading tastes. So when she says she likes a book or whatever, I'm like, oh, sweet. She just, I see like, um, she finds like, free eBooks that are kind of floating and puts like information and links to those. She does new release updates. Everything she, she does, she does well. I cannot recommend her blog enough. And again, it will be right in the description. So you click right on it and sign up for those emails. Now let's get into this spotlight. So the first series I want to talk about is the Cats That series by Karen Ann Golden. The first book is called The Cats That Surf the Web. It's going to be right here. It says, Dead of Winter, a Victorian mansion. $44 million? What is going on? And a young career woman with Siamese cats. When Catherine, Cats, Kindle, a computer professional in New York City, discovers she's the sole heir of a huge inheritance, she can't believe her good luck. She's okay with the clauses of the will, move from Manhattan to the small town of Erie, Indiana, live in her great aunt's pink Victorian mansion, and take care of her cat. With her three cats and best friend Colleen riding shotgun, Cats leaves New York City to stumble upon a mysterious death in the mansion's basement. Ghostly intrusions convince Colleen a ghost hunter? That the mansion is haunted? There are people in the town who are furious that they didn't get the money. But who would be greedy enough to get rid of the rightful heir to take the money and run? Wow. There are 11 books in this series. It sounds... I kind of love that sort of thing. I don't know. It just reminds me of, of something that I would really, really, really enjoy. I'm very excited about this series. The next series I want to talk about is the Peck Detective Mystery Series. It's by Patricia Giver. The first book is called Delilah Doolittle and the Purloined Pooch. It's right here. It says the main character is Delilah Doolittle. She is a pet detective, a British widow, and Watson, Delilah's faithful Doberman pincher, 
companion. This series takes place in California. That's so cute. It's okay. So it says, while tracking down a missing German shepherd, Delilah Doolittle and Watson, her brilliant Doberman pincher, discover a dead man in the doghouse, which leads them closer to the missing dog and the killer. Six books in that series. I love the name Delilah Doolittle. That is so cute. I don't know if it's meant to be a playoff like Eliza Delilah. That's kind of close, but it's super funny and I'm loving it. The next series is called the Bird Watchers Mystery Series. The first book is called A Rant of Ravens. It's right here. It says, seeking refuge from a troubled marriage and career stalemate, Rachel Stanhope seeks refuge on her aunt Miriam's Colorado ranch. Ooh, I like the location. But after agreeing to host meetings of the local bird watching society, Rachel stumbles upon a body of a nosy journalist, a reporter for Birds of a Feather magazine, who had been investigating a rare bird trafficking scheme. Seven books. Oh my gosh. That, I didn't know what I would think of a like when I was thinking a bird watcher mystery series, I was thinking the sleuth may be like a, a bird watcher, which is fine, but I don't know that that would keep my interest. But this sounds totally different than what I had in my mind. So I'm really excited about it now that I've, that I've read into it further. If you've read that, let me know what you think. So the next series is the Cats and Curios Mystery Series. It's by Rebecca Hale. The first book is called How to Wash a Cat. It's right here and it has such a cute cover. It says the main character is a accountant in San Francisco. A deceased uncle and a surprising inheritance propel a woman and her two very curious cats into the mystery surrounding his death. An investigation that starts amid the curious and novelties of a San Francisco antique shop follows a twisted tale of dangerous deception that leads all the way back to the days of the gold rush itself. Six books. Oh my gosh, I don't know about the rest of the series, but I have to check out the first book because that totally is something that I would love. Oh my gosh, y'all, my TBR, I think I've added every book that we've talked about today on my TBR, and we might have added, I might have added every book I've talked about in the spotlight to my TBR. It's just, they all sound so good. The next series is called the Animal Instinct Mystery Series. It's by Gabriella Herkert. The first book is called Catnapped. I think we had another book in the last spotlight called Catnapped. So this one is by Gabriella Herkert. And there's another one that I'm, I'm pretty sure was in the other spotlight, of course, by a different author. So this one says the main character is Sarah Townley. She's an investigator in Seattle. Not too happy about her recent Vegas wedding to a Navy SEAL she barely knows. <laughs> oh, boy. Investigator, <laughs> legal investigator Sarah Townley finds her fur flying in both her personal and professional lives when she must find a missing cat who stands to inherit millions of dollars. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Three books in that series. It sounds hysterical. So the next series is called the Crazy Cat Lady Cozy Mystery Series by Molly Hunt. The first book is called Cat's Eyes. It's right here. I couldn't really find a synopsis, but I had to include it because it had such a funny series title. It says that there's seven books in it. So I'm thinking it might be a hidden gem. We talked about hidden gems Saturday night. I'm totally going to look into it. I don't know much about it, but I do know the main character is a retiree, which y'all know is one of my buzzwords. So I'm definitely going to be checking that out. Um, let me know if you've read it. I just couldn't find a whole lot of information on it. The next series is called the Carson Stables Mystery Series. It's by Lee Heron. Heron. The first book is called Raining and Murder. It's right here. It says the main character is Annie Carson. She's a horse trainer. This takes place in Washington. It says when horse trainer Annie Carson rescues a beautiful thoroughbred from a roadside rollover, oh my gosh, she knows the horse is lucky to be alive, unlike the driver. After rehabilitating the injured animal at her Carson Stables ranch, Annie delivers the horse to Hilda Colbert, the thoroughbred's neurotic and controlling owner, only to find she's been permanently put out to pasture. Two deaths in three days is unheard of in the small Olympic Peninsula County, and Annie decides to start sniffing around. She's confident she can track down a killer, but she may not know how ruthless the killer really is. Four books. 
I love horses, so I'm gonna totally check this series out. So the next series I wanna talk about is the Nikki Luttrell Racing Series. It's by Sasser Hill. The first book is called Full, Full Mortality. It's right here. It says the main character is Nikki Luttrell and she is a horse jockey in Maryland. It says jockey Nikla, Nikki Luttrell gets the chance of a lifetime to ride the favorites in a stake race only to have her dream destroyed when a mysterious intruder kills her mount the night before the race. Evil people are working at Maryland's Laurel Park racetrack, and when Nikki stumble, stumbles over the body of a gunshot victim, she quickly becomes the prime suspect in a murder case. Framed and facing a possible mur murder rep, Nikki is ruled off the track. Even deprived of job and income, she cannot abandon a mistreated, ill-tempered racehorse doomed to the slaughterhouse. Nikki and the filly wind up at a seedy stable with a motley group of felons, trunks, and drug addicts. With unexpected help from a fashion-conscious wholesale meat seller, a recovering addict, and an ancient groom, Nikki follows a crooked trail of insurance scam and betting fraud. But with the odds against her, can she clear her name and put the real criminal behind bars? Two books in that series. It sounds like there is a ton going on in it. I'm definitely going to check it out because, I, like I said, I love horses. There are some things in there that I don't know that um, I could... I could or want to read about. I know it's probably not on the page and just alluded to, but I, I just don't know. We'll see. Let me know if you've read it and what you think. So the next series is also by Sasser Hill. It is the Fia McPhee mystery series. Book one is called Flamingo Road. It's right here. It says the main character, Fia McPhee, is a thoroughbred racing protective bureau employee. That is quite a title. <laughs> Baltimore police officer Fia McPhee is put on leave for excessive use of force after interfering in a crime that turns deadly. Given a second chance, she is sent to work undercover for the Thoroughbred Racing Protective Bureau, the TRPB, at the Gulfstream Park in Florida, where she works as an exercise rider. Her assignment is to watch and report back on two racetrack workers who have been suspected of illegal activities and whose horses continue to outperform all expectations, winning their owners and seemingly amounts of money in the races. To complete her story, Fia moves in with her semi-estranged brother, Patrick, who lives near the racetrack. Her investigations are complicated when her niece, Jilly, disappears after a shadow gang takes Jilly's beloved horse. Now Fia must work two angles. First, to find out what's really going on with the men who might or might not be gaming the system. And second, to bring the men who prey on horses to justice. Along the way, Fia encounters Cuban gangs living off the grid, a very handsome do-gooder who's close on their trail, and super wealthy gamblers who will stop at nothing to ensure they always win. Two books in that series. Holy moly, there's a lot going on in those books. I probably will look into it and we will see. If you've read either of those series by that author, because I had never heard about them, please let me know what you think of them. So the next series is the Sarah Booth Delaney series. It's by Carolyn Haynes. The first book is called Them Bones. It's right here. It says, no self-respecting lady would allow herself to end up in Sarah Booth's situation. Unwed, unemployed, and over 30 <laughs> She's flat broke and about to lose the family plantation, not to mention being haunted by the ghost of her great-great-grandmother's nanny, who never misses an opportunity to remind her of her sorry state or to suggest a plan of action, like ransoming her friend's prize pooch to raise some cash. <laughs> That's quite a plan. But soon Sarah Booth's walk on the criminal side leads her deeper into unladylike territory, and she's hired to solve a murder. Did gorgeous landed Han Hamilton Garrett V really kill his mother 20 years ago? And if so, what is Sarah Booth doing falling for this possible murder? When she's asked one too many questions and a new corpse turns up, she is suddenly a suspect herself. And Sarah Booth finds that digging up the bones of the past could leave her rolling over in her grave. 22 books. Oh my gosh. The covers on these are so much fun, and this series has been around for a while, and it's been on my TBR for a while, so let me know what you think of it. 
All right, guys. So the next series is the last one we're going to talk about, but I'm super excited about it. I am bumping it way far up on my TBR, and I'd love to know if you've read any of them because it is got such an in interesting premise to me and I love the location. It just sounds fabulous. It is the Alaska Mystery Series by Sue Henry. All right, guys, until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everybody.